Hey guys, I'm Joel Hager, one of the founders of Dome Gaia, and today I've got a really great interview with Bethany and Carlos. They are hosting a workshop on their beautiful property in Puerto Rico in January. I think uh, starting around January 20th. You can go to the Dome Gaia website to, to see more in specifics, but in this interview, we are talking about their property, what they're doing, the dome we're gonna build, and about Puerto Rico. So enjoy the interview. First of all, I guess I was just kind of curious to know like how you guys found out about Dumb Gaia and kind of what led you to to want to host a workshop on your property. I don't know how I found the Dumb Gaia. I don't know doing a little research uh, and I end up going to the Tulum workshop. Uh, so I went to the Tulum workshop and, and I was curious about learning because uh, my wife being a yoga instructor and by the way, I'm Carlos, my wife, Bethany, she actually brought me in a lot more as far as uh, sustainable living and and trying to uh, change the lifestyle that we have. And that's how we everything is start changing. So went to Tulum, met a lot of good people over there. Uh, we, we stay in touch um, and then we bought a property in Puerto Rico. So um, it's a one acre uh, property. Uh, there's an actual cave in the actual property that you can go inside and actually walk for about an hour. Um, and then we decided, well, you know, I learned how to make those uh, structures, uh, domes with uh, Dome Gaia. And I love the environment that Tulum has. And, and I'm, I'm excited they do it another workshop. I wish I can go uh, also. We decided, well, we can bring this to Puerto Rico. So yeah, I saw some of the photos of your property. It looks like you've got a beautiful house. You're up, you're up on a hill. Uh, looks like you've got an incredible view from the property. Yeah. And so it sounds like your, your plan is to develop this into somewhat of like an education center. Um, so you said you're gonna, how close to the house are the domes gonna be built? Um, it's like right next. Okay. It's pretty close to it. Okay, Everything cool. Is, but, it, it, but it's here. It's, yeah. uh, it's, it's basically kind of like you have to do switchbacks to get to it. So our property isn't flat, except for where exactly where the house is. And then we have to uh, do switchbacks with the mm. flat area and another switchback with the flat area. Nice. So it's tiered. I just have now like the next questions I'm going to ask you are just more about logistically, you know, so people that are thinking about coming to the workshop, they can see, oh, this is where you fly into. This is where you'll travel to, you know, accommodations, food. Um, so oh. you can just kind of talk. I'm sorry. So you travel directly to there. Uh, there's two options, but the main for as far as price, it would be to drive to San Juan. Um, that's the main international airport. There is two and a half hours away uh, from our location. Uh, it, it, that other option, they actually have uh, a smaller airport, which is 30 minutes away, which is in Aguadilla. Majority of the people, because you can have, uh, there's more rental cars. Mm -hmm. There's, I know some people we might be able to establish some transportation. Yeah. But of course, uh, given the pin for the location and uh, people can just rent a car and, and drive. Yeah. And then enjoy of the, the traveling. But we, we can uh, actually do some scheduled transportation. Um, so you said, yeah, so most people would fly into San Juan and then it's a two and a half hour ride. And we'll try to help work with people to kind of share rides. Or you said you might be able to help organize some transportation. Yes, uh, so I know some people that actually offer uh, transportation and give tours and things like that. Okay, right. And uh, e e even myself, for example, the instructors, I'm probably gonna go and pick them up myself. Yeah. Uh, because I have family in San Juan also, and, and it's it's not really hard to, to drive there. Yeah. So our plan was, we do have an apartment on a lower portion. Um, that it has a living room and a bathroom, bathroom, uh, and a little kitchen. And then the second option also is uh, to uh, bring some tents. Um, we, I'm gonna set up an area for people to set up their own tent if they want to, 
and I'm gonna. Uh, our plan is to at least have uh, options if some people we wanted to provide the tent. Uh, we were gonna actually buy some glamping uh, tents. Uh, one of the foundations um, that I had for the domes, I was planning to use that for uh, building the bricks. So it sounds like people can bring their own tents. Um, you're gonna have some tents that you you and some stuff that you can provide. And then I'm guessing there's also quite a few like Airbnbs and other things really nearby mm -hmm. that if people want to, you know, have their own private like house or space. You can. Yeah, I, there's a um, there's a pretty cool uh, cabin uh, uh, lodging uh, that we stayed in when we first moved to San Sebastian. Um, it's really, really cute. Um, so it's in town and you can you can actually rent your own little cabin. So there's a um, and it's really it's really. Uh, yeah, it's a really nice area. So if somebody wants to do the cabin thing, there's something close by for that. And there's uh, <laughs> a, another a big, um, not big hotel, but kind of like a hacienda. There's an hacienda uh, where uh, they have pool and it's really nice for people that can actually rent and stay. Um, there is, uh, for uh, eating, we're gonna provide traditional, um, I have somebody that usually help me in the, the actual She's traditional uh, Puerto Rican dishes. Yes, so she'll be cooking most of the time. Well, all the time. She'll be cooking <laughs> for whoever. Yeah, you're gonna have 30, yeah. 30 hungry people. So, yeah, <laughs> she actually uh, lives in our property right now okay. while we're gone. So she's taking care of the house and everything. So we will offer uh, a great uh, menu. Uh, in addition, there you can go to town and it's you know ten minutes away. That sounds great. So, um, so you all, so people, we, we, so basically, um, you have a spot. People will have group meals together, and then um, for people that are camping on the property or staying on the property, um, there's bathrooms in the house that they can use for showers and and everything. Yeah. So we have two. Uh, the option is uh, on that little apartment downstairs. We have a full bathroom. On a community area, there is an actual half bathroom that people can use all, all the time uh, it, during the it's day. It's on the outside of the house, so you don't have to come in. You can literally just, but it's a sink and a toilet. But... Uh, so we have at least three options for- uh, two, two, uh, two showers and one half bath. Yes. Okay, yeah, and then I guess we'd already talked a little bit about this, but in terms of like stuff that's nearby, you mentioned there's waterfalls. Um, are there, there's beaches nearby as well. Yeah, 30 minutes. Uh, um, I'm a scuba instructor. I have some extra scuba gear, um, it, so we can. Uh, so the, the the goal was probably to offer uh, uh, one day maybe go to the beach, and then one, one day maybe exploring like uh, main historical. Uh, places like well, there, San Juan. well the local I mean, even in even in San Sebastian there's there's an activity center for yeah. zip lining and for yeah. nature trails and um, rough like, terrain uh, hiking uh, yeah it all, sounds all great for anyone that can yeah plan a little to stay a little longer too it sounds like there's tons of stuff to explore on the yeah. island yeah there's there's <laughs> so much and, and uh even one of the big things that it would be great if it could be scheduled somehow but puerto rico has uh, a bioluminescent bay 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 oh, wow. so it it actually water glows at night wow. uh, with the microorganism uh, and so it's very unique in the world. It's only like five in the world. Wow. It's kind of like uh, that movie was uh, like the pie. life of Pi. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So um, we have two, uh, three out of the five or six in the world. Um, and then you can go kayak and, and see all the, the bioluminescent bi water as the fish um actually swimming by and and it's pretty cool so yeah there there's a lot of <clears throat> different activities that people can do uh and <clears throat> this is a great opportunity for offering this uh puerto rico to so many people that have not experienced yeah. that before yeah it's kind of having like a hawaii type yeah my other question is is in terms of like the cell phone service and internet that's something that people are always curious about yeah just like us yep 
Um, yeah, that's so we plan. We have uh, Wi-Fi in our location. Any phones from the U.S. will work there. N no issues with uh, communication. Uh, we will be able to offer that. I'm super excited about this workshop. I think it's it's a beautiful location. I love what you guys are you know wanting to do with the property. Uh, Puerto Rico sounds amazing. So I think this is going to be people are going to have a lot of fun and and you know really love this. So super super exciting. Any any questions for me or anything that? Um, yeah, I mean, can you have? Not, not that I can think of right now. <clears throat> no, we're just looking looking forward for the workshop and and start this new. Uh, adventure <laughs> well that was really cool it's really got me excited about puerto rico i've personally never been there but really excited to go this property looks amazing i love what carlos and bethany are working on doing it looks like they've got a great building site a great place to learn i think it's going to be an excellent workshop so head over to domegaia.com to learn more about the specifics thanks a lot